Hello everyone, and welcome to yet again another Friday new product post. We've got a few things to talk about, so let's see the products for this week. First up, we've got this board, which is Shield. This is the CMU Cam V4 Shield board, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is an interesting board. This is a collaboration between us and some of the folks over at um, Carnegie Mellon University. And what this is, is a um, color tracking system or a vision processing board. Um, it's got this little camera on it. Let me put it back. So it's got this camera and then it's got a um, propeller chip down here. And, you know, we've got the TV output and some other things on here. It's not so much a vision processing system so much as it's a um, really a color tracking system. So let's say I hook this up and take this lovely red box calibrate it to the red box, and then move it, I can actually interpret that data and find out where the position of that red box is. I can even look at the bounding box of this, so I can say, you know, it's this tall, it's this wide, and it's, you know, here on my screen, or it's over here. Um, you can do a lot of different things with this. You can um, do slight object detection as long as you're using it based on color. Um, you can tell the size of something based on the bounding box that it's in. Um, there's a lot of different things. In addition, this board also has some headers down here for a pan and tilt bracket. So what you can actually do with this is have it to where it could be on a servo to where it could actually track the object if you want. This board is interesting and um, since it's not this, you know, full super high powered vision tracking system, like um, I think we had a pan tilt demo using um, a processing sketch in the computer, it doesn't really have as much functionality as, you know, what you would have on a full size desktop computer. Um, but it does do some things very well and in a very small package. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in my office and we've got a little demo set up for you to give you a really good idea of what you know, good use case is for this board and what it does really well. So to give you a better idea of uh, what the CMU cam actually does, we've hooked it up to our TV screen here and given it some power and um, it's actually acting on its own right now using uh, demonstration code that comes with the shield. So uh, it's actually acting as a standalone board. It's not connected to an Arduino as you can tell. And we've just uh, plugged the composite out to our TV and I'm going to put it in demo mode. And the way that you do that is you just hold reset and the user button at once, let go of the reset button so that it starts up in user, and you'll see that this red light starts to blink. And when you see the red light blink, just let go of the buttons and it's gonna adjust to the surrounding light in the scene. After it's done that, the red light turns back on and you give it a sample color that you want it to track. In this case, I've got one of our nice red SparkFun boxes. It stands out in the surroundings, so it's a good color to track here. I'm just going to hold it in front of the camera and press the user button, and you'll see that it starts outputting video to the TV screen. As I move the box away from the camera, you can see it's tracking and trying to draw a bounding box around the red color that it sees. You can see there's a white dot that it's drawing and that's called a centroid. And what it's trying to do is it's trying to find the center of the uh, average color that you're tracking. So as I move the box around you can see on the TV screen that it, the centroid is basically following the position of the box. So that is the basic of what this does. And you can actually use uh, both the bounding box and the centroid uh, to do all kinds of calculations, to do motion tracking, or to figure out the size of things. So here we've got just a little apparatus set up. We've actually taken away the TV and this is just running by itself. So we don't have any real visual indicator other than these LEDs over here. And what we've got are these various sized SparkFun red boxes. Currently this is set up to detect the very specific color of red of the SparkFun boxes and it's going to look at that bounding box that we saw earlier and calculate the length and the width of the box and see if it's you know, close to the ideal and it's going to pick which box it is based on that bounding box area. Um, so if we just take one of these boxes and put it in here, you can see that that's the small box. That one is the extra small. And then let's go to this one, which should be the large. 
slide it inside there, and as a large. So as I said before, what it's doing is it's looking down through the camera and it's seeing the red color and it's applying you know, an outer boundary to that and saying, oh, this is about the length and the width of what I think the large box to be. So it's pretty interesting. Um, this is one of those demos that there's no other set of sensors in the catalog that we could really use to recreate this. If you have different sized things and you're trying to detect them, doing it with a visual system is about the only way you could accomplish this. So this is a very unique task and um, in an industrial application this would work quite well. Next up we've got something a little less technologically advanced. Um, this is good old-fashioned hookup wire. But we've got them in these nifty little kits. So it comes in this box, and if we open it up, you can see inside we've got six different spools. And in each one of these spools, we've got 25 feet of 22 gauge wire. We have these in two different varieties. We have them in a solid core and a stranded. And the other interesting thing about these is that they have little holes in the box so you can pull the wires through. If you don't have any wire and you're looking to get some hookup wire, it might be a little annoying to just buy like all these little spools and then you know not use some and use the others and just not know what you need. So just get you know one of these kits because you can just get you know the basic colors that you're going to need. You get a little bit of each one and then you can just have a nice little storage box for it and then you can just pull them off and cut them as you need them. So definitely check out the combination wire packs. So there you have it. CMU Cam is very cool, um, very inexpensive color tracking system, and then the ever so useful hookup wire kits. Um, so check out these products as well as any others on the product post for this week, and we'll see you again next week with another video and more new products and eh, maybe some shenanigans or something. See you then.